Hey everybody, it's Lee at Gnome and Backyard. I see one or two thumbs up. I don't see any comments yet, so um, let me know you guys are here. Um, give me a shout out, a hey, how are ya, a thumbs up, a heart, so that I know we have some followers. Okay, yes, all right, I'm seeing hearts now. I'm seeing hearts now. Let's see. Oh, Crafty Decorator, we were just texting. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Pam, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see, well, I don't see you, but it's so good to see your comments. Um, hello, Nicole Pierce, how are you? Diana Christensen is watching. Inez, hi, how are you? Oh, Cassandra, my girlfriend, you are looking better. Who, Cassandra, I don't know if you uh, had seen my last live a couple days ago on Saturday, but I did, I did um, have the COVID, so uh, feeling, feeling a lot better. Um, feeling a lot better. Hi, Carol Wilcox, how are you? Yes, I'm feeling better. Hi, Sandy Lunn. Um, definitely not 100%. This thing wipes you out on your butt. I mean, um, I, my head is still stuffy and I have this terrible cough. Um, good afternoon, Lisa Taylor and Nicole Pierce in Texas. Hi, Deb Howard, how are you? Um, it, it, it wipes you out, and uh, if anybody else is fighting it, I mean, just drink your fluids and get lots of rest. Um, that's basically, I mean, Tylenol. I've had a couple of you ask me, like, what has helped me. I was taking Tylenol for the chills and the body aches. Um, hi, Sandy Walls. Yes, I am feeling better. Definitely not 100%. Um, yes, Sherry, you told me to, to go live when I could, and I, I, I'm... I played around this morning a little bit. So the, the, like the problem is I get up and I'm feeling great and I feel like I'm gonna tackle, you know, it's gonna be a good day and I'm all better and I'm gonna tackle the world and um, slowly, you know, then I get up and maybe uh, do the laundry and, and run the vacuum and then I'm like feeling a little bit more tired and then I thought, well, let me sit down and maybe do a little bit of painting today. Uh, who was that in Boston? Hi, Linda Brown in Boston. Um, Julie Southward, hi, how are you in California? Uh, so I did a little painting today and that was fun. And um, and then I did, I did have to run to the post office and uh, get out the rest of your orders. Um, but I, I was gonna say, okay, I'll go live tonight when maybe more of you are available. But I just started like two o'clock came and I'm like, oh, I'm starting to feel tired now. And we still have to, you know, have dinner and clean up dinner. And I thought, let me jump on now. Um, I want to show you what I played with earlier today. Um, oh, Janet Hen uh, Hansen. Oh, thank you, Kelly Kane. Yes, I did test positive for COVID, um, and that was over two weeks ago. And um, uh, you know, they say I'm not contagious anymore. Rhonda, how are you, girlfriend? So glad. Uh, you're back on Facebook. <laughs> Behave yourself. Um, and my daughter had, had gotten it a few days before I did, and uh, she was back in school. And so, okay, so anyway, um, hi, Pam Walker, how are you? And Linda from Texas. Um, Grandma Jean is doing great, but I am still staying away from Grandma Jean. Hi, Karen J in England, how are you? Thank you for the hugs. Um, and hi, Susan Caruso and Karen Oaks. Um, yes, Karen Oaks, I'm back. I'm not 100%, but I'm back. We're working on it. Um, just really still trying to take care of myself because um, this just knocks you on your butt. It does. It's terrible. Terrible. Um, so I, I was playing around. So while I and my husband, uh, knock on wood, my husband has not gotten uh, sick and he's feeling fine. So he has been in the wood workshop and he has been doing all the cutting and all the packaging and uh, getting your orders ready to be sent out. Um, hi, Olga, how are you, my friend? So um, I come up with the ideas and then he, he's been cutting them on the, on the laser. So uh, it was only a night or two ago 
uh, I had an idea and then I gave it to him and, and he ran with it. And boy, did he do good. He really did, he did good. So guys, my mason jar. So this is what I played with this morning. I played with my mason jar. It's um, Alice Button, I hope grandma, uh, I can't read the whole thing, but I'm sure you're saying you hope grandma. Grandma is good. Grandma is good. We're staying away from each other, 100%. Um, her brother was visiting her the other day. We're staying away from each other, um, even though I'm no longer contagious, my daughter's not contagious. I still, I, I want to stay away from grandma and just keep everybody healthy for now. And it's just so cold out too that you know, everybody just needs to stay in and stay put, I guess. Um, but she's doing great. She's doing great. She's, but I told her, her a uh, couple of her recipes are going viral. Her, um, what did I notice today? Her potato loaf is going viral. Um, her tuna salad is still going viral. So I said, Grandma, we need another recipe, so work on that. So she's thinking of uh, some other uh, some other recipes. So, um, oh, it's gonna be in the 20s in Florida. That's cold for you, right? That is cold for you. It's 21 here today. Um, that is cold. Oh, Jill, thank you. Jill Wallace, thank you. So, look at this cute mason jar. Cute, May. so we're gonna offer this on our website, but um, I'll just give you like a little, a little how things do work when we do um, come up with the ideas. So we come up with the ideas and the drawings, and then um, we have to go through our like you have to do it on the computer, and then send it to the laser and tweak it and whatever. So I wanted to do a mason jar. So this is the outline for the large mason jar, and then this is the. Um, uh, the cute little, I don't know, the cute little outline for it, right? And then I want to fill it with, and I'm just going to set these right here for now to show you. Then I'm going to fill the mason jar with hearts. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so cute. So just to give you an idea, look at these hearts. And I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's going to be 11 hearts, three different sizes. And I'll show you. I did it and I love it. It's adorable. So here's what the hearts look like. They would go inside the mason jar. And this jar, I think this one is, let's measure it. This one measures, this one is a little over seven and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide. All right. So I already did all my painting this morning, but I wanted to show you guys. So what I did for the backdrop of my mason jar. Who was that? Hi, girlfriend. Who was that? Denise um, Forrester. Hello, girlfriend. <clears throat> um, so what I did with the my blank base, we'll call this the base of my, um, of my mason jar. What I did first is I painted it white. I painted it white because this is actually a napkin. This is a decoupage napkin on here. How awesome is this? And look how smooth it is. That is so smooth. But what I like to do is I like to paint my wood first because when you decoupage your napkin right onto the wood, sometimes like the wood you can see through the back and the colors might not really pop that well. So I painted and here's, here's actually the little mini. This is the mini. We have two sizes, a bigger and a smaller. So I did paint my mason jar white first. And you know what, guys? I just used white chalk paint. I didn't have any white acrylic paint. You could use acrylic paint. I didn't have any. I wasn't gonna um, leave the house to go to the craft store. I'm using what I have around here. So I did paint my base white first. And then I took... I. I'm in the family room here. I got stuff all over the place. And then I just took one of um, the Pretty Heart napkins and I decoupaged it onto the base of my mason jar, right? How cute is that? Now, I could have used, I thought this one would have been pretty too. I thought that one was really pretty. This is like pink hearts. I thought this one might be fun also. 
I thought this napkin would have been really pretty also with the different colors and it's got the gold heart and then the black and the reds. I thought this one would look pretty also. Hi, Angela, how are you? Oh, thank you. Angela, I hope your daughter is feeling better. Um, and I hope that you're able to stay healthy while you're taking care of her. It's, it's not fun at all. Um, but this one, I thought this one would be really cool too. Like how fun would that look inside of our mason jar? I really think this one is cute. And then you could paint all those separate hearts, pastel colors, and then you can even just take um, a paint pen and write, write the little words, you know, it says sweet talk, love, hug me. Um, you could write that on your little wooden heart. So there were just way too many options and I wanted to do all of them. Um, but you know, you don't have time to do all of them. So, so I chose the little red. I thought the little red dainty hearts were really, really cute. Um, uh, loving the napkins. Oh, yes, thank you. We, we have a few more. I want to say maybe there might be 10 more napkin packs on the website available for Valentine's Day, and that's it. Um, I, I think there might be 10, 8 or 10 left. Um, so, okay, now let me see here. <coughs> Since I'm in the family room, on the couch, at the coffee table, I've got everything uh, all over the place. So... All you do after you say you paint your base white, you then just take your Mod Podge and put um, just put a thin coat of. Are you making the mason jars? Yes, yes, we're making the mason jars. So when we get an idea to put on our on our website, and we come up with it and we cut the uh, you know cut it out of wood. Um, what I have to do then is I have to take pictures of the, the plain wood product, and then I have to take pictures of all the pieces and parts that would come with it so you know exactly what you're getting. And then I like to do a finished product so you can see it. And that's what I did this morning. I, and I'll show, well, actually I didn't finish them 100%. We're gonna glue them here with you together, but I was able to put them together, take a photo. Then I have to send my photos to my web guy, Joe. So I sent um, the photos for all of these to my web guy, Joe, this morning around 11, but I don't think he got them put up on the website yet. So um, I will post and let you know when they are up on the website or you could go on and check on your own. Um, but you're gonna get two to a set. You're gonna get the bigger one here and then you're gonna you're gonna get a smaller one too you get two in a set really cute and this is going to be the valentine mason jar set but i already have really cute ideas for of course saint patrick's day easter mother's day um these are just these are fun these are really really fun my gnome brain is a little it's i don't know it's turned off a little bit i i tried to think of a gnome project for today and I just couldn't do it. And I, all, my, all my crafting stash is downstairs in my basement. It's really cold down there. I didn't wanna go down there. It's a mess because I never got the chance to clean it up since Christmas. And um, when my husband showed me what he came up with last night for the mason jars, I was just so, um, so excited. Oh, sorry, you have to leave to go to work. Cassandra, don't work too hard. Watch the replay when you get back. These are so cute, Cassandra. Watch the replay. Don't work too hard. Um, okay. So, let's see. Somebody's saying something about decoupaging. Uh, Sandy Walls, you could cut out the pastel hearts on the napkins and decoupage them on, on the wooden hearts. Yes, you could. There's so many. Oops, lost my comments. There's so many, <clears throat> so many ideas. So many ideas. So, all right, let me finish this one because I keep talking and I don't want to, <clears throat> I don't want to lose you guys because I want you to see the finished products because they are so cute, so very cute. Um, <clears throat> Debbie Razor, they say uh, COVID causes brain, and I can't see that, it's probably fog, brain fog. I'm telling you, I was really disappointed in myself. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Well, first of all, I mean, this, this, has been, this has been depressing. This has been not 
having the energy and the focus and you know want to do the crafts and be with you guys and go live and make videos for you guys and with you guys and it's just been depressing and also not being able to like get things accomplished around the house like I still have if you were to look over here I still have Christmas sitting out I started put Valentine's out and then I never got that finished the ironing board is over there with a bunch of wooden stuff on it um it's just you feel bad when you can't get everything done that you want to get the laundry's piled up um but it's all good it's all good so <laughs> you have brain fog with menopause well karen j i got that and the covid going for me so oh boy i'm terry cavanaugh you love the mason jar i love my cupids also cannot wait for you to show us others you have in mind oh yes well Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna glue this together. I'm gonna glue this together with you guys. Um, I'm using an instant adhesive, so bear with me. Let me just glue this together so you guys could see how pretty, how pretty it is. But for my wood projects, I, I definitely like to use a good glue, a good wood glue. Um, and this is really like an instant adhesive. adhesive. Don't get it on your fingers. If you do, um, you're not gonna be happy because I've done that. And then I went running screaming because my fingers were glued together. And um, my husband had to calm me down and told me to just go get the nail polish remover. And that worked. <laughs> Uh, let me see my girlfriend Kathy's on hi Kathy we are not here to see your house uh, just <laughs> just to spend time with me uh, it's I'll tell you I got the carpets vacuum today and I did a load of laundry and that's about that's about all I got done okay so um, I wanted these are the colors I wanted to use for this one just really simple I just thought these these tiny red hearts were so pretty in here and I just wanted my outline to be white. So now, I painted, whoo, I painted my, <clears throat> all my other hearts, I painted them red because that's what I wanted. Guys, I know you're gonna, I'm dr dropping them all. I know you're gonna um, use what colors you want. You're gonna do them, you know, do them your own way. That's what's so great about this. Everybody has so many awesome ideas. Um, but now I'm actually just going to glue my, I'm just going to glue my, my hearts in there. Oh, Alice Button, I am, <clears throat> I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Not 100% by any means. Um, definitely not 100% by any means. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Karen J. Yes, I, I do want to just worry about getting better, um, because it stinks when you're sick, it really does. So you can put your hearts wherever you want. You can put them all on the bottom of your mason jar. You can put them, excuse me, wherever you want. Um, put them all, fill in the bottom, float them around different places, different sizes. Yes, I have a wonderful husband who, um, he's along for this ride with, uh, Grandma Jean and myself, and um, he uh, is really uh, taken a, a, quite the interest with the laser, and that's great. Um, adorable project. Thank you, Kim Sigler. Uh, Lily Joyce Smith, where can I get? I, for some reason, I am not seeing all of your comments. Um, if you're asking where can you get the mason jars, um, they're gonna be up on my website, www.gnomeandbackyard.com, very soon. Um, I sent them to my web guy this morning to put up, so hopefully, he usually does get them up within the same day, but um, sometimes he doesn't. Um, so if they're not up there today, um, hopefully he'll have them up tomorrow, but I'll let you guys know. Yeah, the, the mason jar is, is not up on the website yet. Okay, well, um, we put up some new, um, we put up some new 
ornaments. We put up, um, see the fog, the fog. Uh, uh, some gnome St. Patrick's Day ornaments. We put those up yesterday. Oh, the dogs are barking because the hubby's home. He's home from work. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes, thank you for answering that. Yes, we're making these from our own laser cutter. Um, but we did, we put up cute gnome St. Patrick's Day ornaments yesterday and a St. Patrick's Day napkin assortment. So the, that went up yesterday. I'm sure he'll get these mason jars up um, hopefully some point today. Sometimes if he doesn't see it, it takes a day or two, but I'll keep you guys posted. And like the nice thing about these are that we, we won't run out of these. Um, maybe we have like, uh, maybe it might show 30 in stock, but if we sell those 30, we can put more because we'll, we'll cut them. So, um, all right, my glue is still drying, but so I don't want to, I don't want to hold it up straight yet. My glue is still drying. It'll, it'll dry rather quickly, but how cute is that? This is so cute. So then what I did was I just made a cute little bow to put on the top. I just made a cute little bow. I had some, I have all this ribbon lying around. I had a little bit of um, burlap and I just cut like two strands that were about four inches. And then I had this pretty red and white ribbon and I cut two strands that were maybe um, three inches. Oh, let's see. Oh, Lily Joy Smith. Yay for the St. Patrick's gnomes and naps. I'll go. <laughs> um, Lily, I don't know if it was today I sent your order out or yesterday. I'm pretty sure you had just recently ordered something. Um, and I, I remember seeing your name and I sent them out. And um, then I just used a little bit of solid red. And you just lie your ribbon down on top of each other. And then I took twine and just tied them in the middle. I'm not a good bow maker. I, I, I'm not a good bow maker. I don't like making bows. But <clears throat> this is a real simple, simple bow. And I guess I'm going to use my wood glue to attach my bow because I did not bring any other glue over here with me. So we'll see. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully this will work. And like I said, I won't catch my... Uh, this glue might not be the... This glue probably isn't the best choice to attach your bow, but you know what? We're gonna try it since I my hot glue gun is in here. I don't have any other glue right here. Teresa, um, dyke wig. Yes, I am feeling. I'm feeling better. I am feeling better. I wonder if you could paint a couple coats of magnetic paint and then decoupage over that, and then put magnets on the. Oh, Roberta, done. Now there's an idea. There's an idea. Oh, but look how cute this is. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? And it's it's like a 2D effect. It's 2D because you have this back here and then you know your little um, wooden hearts pop out and then your raised edge. Look how cute. So what I thought, you know, so you could use this for anything. You could use this for a shelf sitter. Um, hi, Stephanie, how are you? Oh, we're happy. I'm happy that you are here live with us too, Stephanie. You could use that as a shelf sitter. You could use it um, in a wreath. If you have a, a wreath and you want to change out anything on your wreath, you could use it in a sign, a simple sign. I thought, you know what, it would even look cute. Now, this is just one of those cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. This is a simple cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, you could just put this Look at that. That, look, you could just glue this right to this um, nice piece of, uh, this is a cutting board. This is a cute bamboo cutting board. These are at the Dollar Tree. I did get these last year, but look how pretty, like that even looks. The natural color bamboo wood with then the, the coloring we used for this. Look how sweet that looks. And you could just make a real simple sign. Oh, uh, Carlene Hankins, thank you. Are your cupids sold as a set, Tammy? 
Yes, so um, with the cupids, we have two different sets available. We have the first set that we originally sold that you get two large, two medium, and two small. There was a lot of confusion when that first set went out. Um, people thought you only got three cupids. You get six. One cupid has an arrow and I think a heart in the hand, and the other cupid just has a heart. So there's two styles of cupids, but and you get so you get one large of each, one medium of each, and one small of each. So that's a total of six. Then everybody was asking for just the baby cupid, which is the smallest one in that set. So we put up another set, and it's just called Baby Cupids, and you get six baby cupids, three with the arrow and three with the heart in hand. So um, whichever set you order, you're going to get six cupids. Uh, a lot of people thought you only got three. No, no, no. You get six. Um, whichever set, what, it, what, what you see pictured there on the website is what you're going to get. Um, so uh, six large, medium, small, or six just small. So you'll see there's two different sets available. Uh, Terry Cavanaugh, where did you get the hearts? So Terry, the, I cut this whole project, I, I say I, my husband, cut this whole project on our laser cutter. So we are gonna put this up um, on our website and you get you would get the uh, mason jar and then you'll get the hearts to go with it. And for this one, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 hearts, okay? And then you're also going to get a smaller mason jar. And I want to finish. I want to do that one with you guys now, too. Stick around. Stick around. I want to do that one. I'm so excited because we have not um, done anything together <clears throat> in quite a while. And I apologize for that. But I just have not been feeling up to it. Teresa, the mason jars that you get the two sets of mason jars and you get the fillers for inside of them are $20, but that's free shipping. I have to, um, shipping for these, believe it or not, shipping is like four fifty five. dollars uh, You always uh, almost account for $5 worth of shipping. Um, the post office is just ridiculous and it's outrageous. Um, so, but on my website, it's free shipping within the continental United States. So you take that into consideration. Um, where did you get the mason jar from? Judy, we're putting these in our in our shop. We cut these on our wood cutter, our laser cutter, um, and so we're putting these in our shop. I was hoping my web guy would get them in today. I sent them to him this morning. I don't believe he got them in yet, but um, hopefully, hopefully he will have them up and running soon. Okay. So with the little with the little mason jar, I want to do two different things. I want to do two different things because it's just so darn cute. So I did already paint it white. Um, Cause on the one side, I wanna leave it white. I wanna put my hearts in and put a cute little bow on it again. And then on the other side, I painted it white again and I already put down my decoupage. So I already painted it white. I already put down my decoupage and it's dry. So I wanna take, cause I had this cute gnome napkin. I want to take this cute gnome napkin and I want to have my cute little gnomes inside the jar on the one side. <clears throat> so we got our little mini iron that we got for Christmas. Let's turn it on. And this, this sucker gets hot pretty quick. Uh, Nancy, Grandma Jean is doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you very much for asking, but we are still keeping our distance from each other. Um, we're still keeping our distance from each other because I am not taking any chances of Grandma Jean getting sick. Oh, you sent me a friend request. I don't know how to friend. Okay, Connie, if that was, if, if that was me, I do not send out friend requests. So you guys um, don't ever accept any friend requests from Gnome and Backyard. And I personally won't send out friend requests either, you guys, because, I mean, I, I just don't have time for, um, with everything going on with Facebook. But if you ever see 
a friend request from Noman Backyard. It is not from me. Do not accept it. Um, unfortunately, there are people out there that um, like taking advantage. They, um, they'll just do like a little crazy spelling. They'll add a letter or subtract a letter. They'll, they'll steal your picture. They use your picture. It, it's your picture. It looks like you. It is you. Um, but no, I will never send any of you guys any type of friend request. Um, so don't, don't accept those. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, while I've been sick over the last two weeks, I actually did have someone um, st steal, I don't want to say steal my identity, but trying to open up credit cards in my name, um, which is another whole hassle. Um, I don't know why people can't just leave people alone and let you live your life and enjoy yourself. Um, so that's something I'm dealing with, getting that taken care of. Okay, painted it white, put some Mod Podge on it, it's already dry. I'm now gonna place my napkin exactly where I want it. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm trying to get as many cute little gnomes on here as possible just to give you guys an idea. And then I'm taking my, um, <laughs> my parchment paper and I'm setting it down on top of my napkin. So I don't, I don't know if you guys could see. And now I'm just taking and heating up the parchment paper. <clears throat> so what we did is we painted the small mason jar white we then put Mod Podge on top of it, let it dry. We then placed our napkin where we want our napkin to be. And now we are just heating it up. We put parchment paper on top of our napkin. And voila. Our napkin is stuck to our, let's, our napkin is stuck to our, um, cute little jar here, and there's no wrinkles, there's no lumps, there's no bumps. Now, I guess there is a way to do this with um, saran wrap. There's a way to, I guess, do the, do the Mod Podging with saran wrap. Um, I don't know how to do that yet. I didn't look it up yet. Uh, I've only heard rumor, but um, I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who probably know how to do it that way. Um, but I'm loving this. Look how flat and smooth that is when you do, and it's warm, uh, when you do the, the Mod Podge and use the iron. Hi, Teresa Neal. How are you, girlfriend? And now I'm just taking my um, nail file and just getting the edges off. Look how nice that is. Come right off. They come right off. Teresa Neal, how is everything? Teresa, um, I got your order out the other day. I think you ordered the baby cupids, Teresa. Yeah, these napkins. I'm loving these nap napkins. Oh, Sherry knows the sar saran wrap technique. It works. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I. that's great. I'll have to try that. I mean, I'm liking this way. This way is pretty easy. I'm not, um, this way isn't, isn't bad at all. Um, it's a lot better than the way I used to do it where you'd get those terrible, terrible lumps and bumps and um, you could see them and that just to me didn't, I don't like the way that looked. But, um, yeah, I guess for the saran wrap, you don't use the Mod Podge. Um, Sherry did it with a thank you, Becky. Yeah. So I just think, I just thought this was so cute to have the little gnomes in the jar. Now, I had already painted, um, I had already painted my edge pink. Oh, look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. Oh, somebody got their order in for the Cupids. Who was that? Uh, Tammy, nice, very nice. Thank you so much for supporting Gnome and Backyard. So we could do this 
We could do this where we have, I just thought these two right here were so cute with the, the kissing and the hearts. We could do this, we could put a, a cute little pink bow um, on the top. And now this smaller mason jar is, this one is about five and a half inches by three and a half inches. So this one is like perfect size for, um, oh, let me see, somebody says, my opinion, let's see, Mary, my, uh, my opinion, iron-on method is less fussy even in small sections. I hate working. Yeah, I, I mean, I love this little mini iron, right? This is, I'm just loving this. That was um, from Walmart. I'm loving that. So, um, and it doesn't take long at all. So I like to use the iron, but of course, I, you know, I want to try new things. So um, we'll learn the saran wrap method. Oh, Ruby Moss, thank you for sprinkling. Um, are you selling the mason jars? Teresa, yes, we are. Uh, I don't think they're up yet. I sent them to my web guy this morning, but we are. Um, like, look how cute this is. So this is tiny enough. This could go on your tear tray. This could, um, this could go on like a gift. This could be, you could put a ribbon on the back. This could be a hang tag for a gift. Um, love your sweatshirt. Where did you get it? Oh, the sweatshirt. This is also, we have a few of these left on our website. We have a few of these on our website. <coughs> I've been living in my sweatshirts for the last two weeks. Um, all right, I do want to show you, though, the other option that I did like for this, too. I, I, I did this, this one. I'm going to glue. I'm going to glue the frame on. And the smaller mason jar comes with um, tiny hearts. I believe it comes with uh, 13 or 14 tiny hearts. And um, they look really cute floating in there, too. So... <clears throat> I mean, you could use either side, either side. Oh, Susan Caruso, yes, I think the mason jars are adorable. <coughs> Pamela Taylor, I am feeling better, Pamela. Um, just trying to take it easy and uh, still just have this nagging, nagging cough um, and some congestion. Oh, I painted all my little hearts this morning and I used some really pretty colors. I used a rose red. I used this rose red and then I used baby pink and that's the color that I actually painted the edge. The, the bottom is white. I used baby pink and then I used rose uh, or taffeta pink, taffeta pink. So I painted all my little hearts three different colors. Um, and now, if you guys, we can see COVID didn't affect your creative side. Oh, Gina, thank you. Thank you, girlfriend. Um, now I'm gonna just, I'm gonna glue my little baby hearts in. I'm gonna glue them in. Um, I, Gene, I was telling them I was a little disappointed because I was trying to think of a, a gnome project to do, and I just uh, just couldn't come up with anything. And um, but I've been I've been thinking about this mason jar for uh, a little while now, and. It's so cute. So I'm actually glad that I did get the chance to work on it today. Teresa, Grandma Jean is doing great. She is doing wonderful. And we just want to keep things that way. Um, <clears throat> I We just want to keep things that way. Um, she's working on some, some recipes. Her brother brought her up quite a few. 
Yes, we can have the best of both worlds. And that is why I did name it Gnome and Backyard. Um, I thought of Home and Backyard and then wanted to throw the gnome twist in there. And you're right, we, we have just the best of both worlds here, 100%. Thank you so much for say, saying that. Grandma Jean was not sick, Pamela. Knock on wood, Grandma Jean um, is feeling fabulous. That young lady, there's no stopping her. Um, it, it, she, but, you know, I wasn't taking any chances whatsoever um, regarding Grandma Jean uh, getting ill. So, um, we're staying away from each other. We're staying away from each other. So... Dorinda, hey Dorinda, how are you? Dorinda, girlfriend, all your orders are out. My goodness, Dorinda, I think you have ordered one of every, well, Dorinda, you've ordered more than one of everything. You've ordered several of many things, Dorinda. Um, and all your out orders are out there. <clears throat> uh, everybody's orders are out. Um, so, yes, Grandma Jean is okay, but... Uh, I think that was uh, Angela, but I just, we're, we're not getting together for videos. We're not getting together. Um, it's, I don't want to take any kind of chance. No chances um, on, on having her uh, not feel well. Uh, Nicole, thank you. I, will, I have let her know that you guys missed her recipes. And that you miss her, and I have told her that, and that's why I told her she needs to to get working on um, what's her next recipe gonna be. And so, um, yeah, it's just not worth it, though, you guys. It's just not worth it. We're 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 looking at each other through the window and on the cell phone, and uh, we talk several times a day. Um, <coughs> so <coughs> that's more important than us getting together for a video because um, I don't want anybody ending up in a hospital. So, uh, okay, where'd my little bow go? So now I just took some pretty little pink ribbons, uh, three different shades, and tied them together. Uh, Deborah Harper, I don't your jars. Deborah, I don't, I can't see your whole note. Um, the, the jars might not be up on the website yet. I sent them out this morning to the web guy, but he may not have um, gotten them up yet. So no need to worry though. They, I'm sure he'll get them up uh, later today or tomorrow. If, if he doesn't get them up by tomorrow, I'll give him a, a call asking him to put them up. Um, and we, we won't run out. We can cut as many of these as we need to. So that's uh, what's lots of fun about the, um, Laser cutter is that we can we can cut to the number that, that you guys need. So yeah, that's what we like about it. Oh, this, look how cute. Oh, this one's so cute too. This one is so cute. Loving the little hearts. Loving, loving the little hearts. And then here was the bigger one. How cute though. So that's what I was saying. You can, um, you can take and, again, do any colors you want. You can do anything you want with this. I think it looks really cool on this <coughs> cutting board. I really like the way that wood looks. I really do. So I think I'm going to glue mine, not now, but later. I think I'm going to glue mine right on there. Right on there. And then, um, uh, the, I know I should have used other glue for the bow, my bow was just coming off a little bit here, um, but I didn't have it with me. So, and then this one, like I said, this is a smaller one. Look how cute this one is. And this could, this one could sit in your tear tray. This one here. Um, and there's the gnomies on the back that we had put, just giving you another option um, that they would have looked really cute inside the, inside the jar too. But so this is everything that you would get. The two jars, all the little hearts that go uh, inside. 
Oh, Becky, thank you. Becky Hutto, H-U-T-T-O, thank you. And Nicole Pierce says, precious, thank you. Susan uh, Fenner from Florida, how are you? Um, yes, thank you. They are very cute. I think they're adorable. I do. I'm loving them. Ruth and Ryan, how are you? I am doing better, you guys, but I just knew I needed to come on earlier today. Um, and hopefully you guys would be able to catch me. If not, maybe um, you could catch the replay because I just know by the time we get done with dinner and get cleaned up, um, I'd probably I'd probably be, I've been, I've been on the couch, been on the couch, I'm being honest with you guys, been on the couch, just trying to build my strength back up. Um, been enjoying Jeopardy, been watching Jeopardy uh, with my family on the couch. Tonight's The Amazing Race, so that's my other show that I love to watch. So, <coughs> um, and then definitely just getting to bed early. Oh, Terry Cavanaugh, wonderful, Terry. Yes, wonderful. Thank you, I'm so excited. Um, where did you get the paper on the back? Mary Miller, they were, they were the napkins. Mary Miller. Um, this was one of the napkins from Grandma Jean's valentine's napkin assortment um this isn't that one this is uh but these are some other options that were in that assortment um that i thought would actually work really pretty in the jars um all the floating hearts and this one i thought would be really cute too in the jars so that that paper is actually uh one of the one of the napkins one of the napkins um that i used that i decoupaged with and use it as the background. But you're right, Mary Miller. You could use scrapbook paper. You could use scrapbook paper, 100%. Um, wrapping paper. You could use anything. You really could. But I'm just having so much fun um, with the decoupaging that when I, when I had the idea to do the red hearts down here, I thought, oh, I knew there was a napkin in that pack. And I just thought that the tiny little the tiny little um, red and white hearts would look really cute in here. Oh, Dorinda, Dorinda girl, we already have the jars cut with shamrocks too. And Jackie Roach just said, great idea, shamrocks inside the mason jar. Are you, Jackie? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get up, you guys, hold on. Oh, hold on a second. Oh. <coughs> so D Jackie and Dorinda know me all too well um yes actually hubby and I'm not sure how many we're gonna we're gonna include but hubby um hubby already started cutting the shamrocks now this one is not uh, this one is not up on the website yet. I wanted to get the Valentine's Day one up, um, but we'll do the same. We'll do the same thing. I think. I mean, you guys. I, I think you, you like you. The feedback I've gotten from everybody, you really like it. You like our sets when we give you more than one item instead of just like doing this one. We give you different sizes. You've all told me you love that. So that's what we're going to try and keep on doing. So there'll be this size, and then there'll be a little smaller one. Um, but we're already we're already doing the clovers and um already working on easter already working on mother's day um so yeah i they're just so cute they're really they really are they're just so cute and there's so many different options um there really are a lot of different options so um, Nicole, thank you. Yeah, I need, you need rest. You do, Nicole. You need the rest when you don't feel good like this. You do need the rest. <coughs> <coughs> oh, somebody else is loving that. Dorinda, you're loving the shamrocks. Yeah. Uh, Sue Watts. Okay, Sue Watts. Now, see, now, I wasn't gonna... Okay, hold on a minute again. Sue Watts. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, Sue Watts, you guys are just too good. You guys are just so creative, and you guys are just too good. And um, Sue Watts said, well, for Easter, 
you're gonna have to do a jar with some, what do you think she said we should put in the jar? With some jelly beans. So Sue Watts, Sue Watts, we already have, um, we, we're working on the Easter, we've got a jar, we've got the jelly beans, and I think, you, like you guys have noticed, what I was doing I thought was cute was to just have like one big um, item. So we did one big uh, four-leaf clover and then the small four-leaf clovers. And like I did with this one where it's one big heart and then um, I did two other little size hearts. And then I've got one jumbo jelly bean and then smaller ones. So... Um, so, okay, and, and I'm, that's as far as I've gotten. That's as far as I've gotten. 100% <coughs> truth. <coughs> but um, you guys are great at, at guessing about all this. I love it. Um, okay, you guys, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache right now. And so... Um, thank you so much, though, for joining me and sticking with me today, uh, checking out uh, one of our newest crafts here. Um, this was just so much fun to make, and I'm so glad I got to finish it with you guys. Um, yes, Teresa Neal, definitely. You could take these hearts, and you can paint these the pastel colors, and then you could take your uh, paint pens and write love and um, kiss me and all the cute things on there. Definitely, definitely. Um, and these, these are nice size. These are two nice size items here. So, um, oh, someone's making a gnome out of a cabbage patch. Well, Kathleen Hoffman, I'm going to have to look into that. I am going to have to look into that. And Wilmer, um, we do have a website. You're asking how to order. It's called gnome, www.gnomeandbackyard.com. You have to spell out the word and. And we have a shop on there with all of our wood items, our wood blanks. These might not be up yet. Uh, if they're not up yet, hopefully by tonight or tomorrow, my web person will have them up for you. Um, but don't, don't worry. Um, we can cut as many as we need with our lasers so we won't run out. So, um, okay, everybody, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your afternoon with me. Um, thank you for continuing to sprinkle gnome in backyard. Um, oh, that was a good idea. Roberta, could you make a cross and then make small lilies for the inside? <gasps> Roberta, okay, I'm gonna write that down as soon as we're off here. I started playing around with crosses, Roberta, for Easter, but not uh, with this theme, but that, oh, that sounds, that's, thank you, Roberta. That's a nice idea. I'll, I will let you know. Um, I'm going to write that down as soon as I get off here. Um, but if you guys could continue to sprinkle our videos. Oh, and <clears throat> I can't believe it. I can't believe we actually surpassed 50,000 followers while I was ill. While I was out ill for the last two weeks, our, our followers went over 50,000. And thank you so much. That just means the world to me and Grandma Jean and my family. Um, we cannot do it without you guys. Thank you so much for sprinkling our page and our videos with your friends, your Facebook family. Um, it just means the world. So uh, we surpassed 50,000. Um, so excited about that. And thank you so much for helping us to get there. Never would I have thought a little over a year we've been doing this. Um, we just love it. We love our Gnome and Beck family. So uh, Grandma Jean's not here, but she would say, uh, don't forget to sprinkle a little kindness along your way. Okay, everybody, thank you so much and have a great day.